Hello everyone, my name is Johannes Geberman Hinn, and today I will be talking to you about learning styles, specifically auditory, visual, and tactile. The reason I'm speaking to you on this is because I feel fond of outreach programs, and I feel like the best way to get your message across is to study things such as learning styles, and if we can't get our message across, I don't know how we will. So, yeah, and uh, hope you enjoy. Auditory learners learn best by listening and talking aloud. They typically notice and remember sounds. They are good at remembering things that they hear. They are also good with words and language. They often read to themselves as they study. They are also often distracted by noise and sounds. Next, we'll be talking about kinesthetic learners, also known as tactile learners. Yes. Kinesthetic learners typically learn best by doing. They are naturally good at physical activities like sports and dance. They enjoy learning through hands-on methods. They typically like how-to guides and action-adventure stories. They might pace while on the phone or take breaks from studying to get up and move around. Some kinesthetic learners seem fidgety, having a hard time sitting still in class. The last type of learners we're looking at are the visual learners. A typical visual learner uses visualization techniques to remember things. They often have a good sense of direction because they visualize maps and directions in their mind. Many prefer to read information in a textbook or on a whiteboard rather than listen to a teacher lecture. They also enjoy doodling and drawing. Visual learners typically use sight words in their everyday terminology. For example, they might say, let's take a look at this, or let's look at this from a different perspective. They remember details including colors and spatial arrangements. This was an explanation of the three main learning styles. The reason I was so keen to talk about this was with my past experience with teaching children from a variety of age groups, no single approach is the right approach. We must be aware that not everyone learns the same way as you and I. Teaching must be a dynamic experience where the real force behind our methods is in the hope that the next generation is avid to explore the realms of being and further society as a whole. With that, this video comes to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye, guys.